Okay, we're going to do a quick, brief overview of Airdrie, Alberta through Google Maps. And if you stick around till the end, we're going to show you a market report all about the Airdrie area. Let's get into the location of Airdrie. So as we can see here, Airdrie is north of Calgary. It's approximately 10 minutes outer city limits of Calgary. You can also travel along the QE2 here, 35 minutes to reach the far south, the downtown core of Calgary. You follow down through the QE2, which then also turns into the Deerfoot, and you turn onto Memorial, and it gets you into the downtown core within about uh, 25 minutes or so. The International Airport, that's very close to Airdrie. And now you're looking at about 15 minutes to get to the airport. So you, again, would just be jumping onto the QE2, and then there's a couple of airport exits that you can choose from. Either one will get you there. The great thing about this is if you have family or friends that are coming and um, flying in to visit you, they can give you a call when they have landed. And by the time that they've gotten their luggage, you will be meeting them at the door. Then the other location just outside of Airdrie is um, called Balzac. It has Cross Iron Mills Mall. Cross Iron Mills Mall is a quite a large mall that has over 200 stores. If you're coming from Ontario, the sister store in Ontario would be the Vaughn Mills store. And then the sister store in BC would be the Tawasset Mills. Skiing again is not that far. What you would do here is jump on either the QE2, take the ring road around uh, Calgary, which is the 201, and then just follow the Trans Canada. Oops. <laughs> and then you would actually drop down here on number 40 and it would get you to the Nikiska uh, Ski Hill. So that's about an hour and 15 minutes that you can take is a little bit longer. It's some double lane and the lane highway, but still scenic. Uh, 567 dropping down. And then again, continuing on the 567, you drop down onto the highway 22, get onto the 1A that would actually take you around Ghost Lake here, um, which is a reservoir and glacier fed lake, beautiful scenery. And then again, you're dropping down into Trans Canada, double lanes again, and then dropping down onto the highway 40. And that's about an hour and 20 minutes. And then the other great locations that is fun to take yourself, family and friends that come to visit is Banff. It's a beautiful place to see really quick access again. You can choose both routes again, either taking the QE2, doing the Ring Road and Trans Canada all the way to Banff, or you can take the more scenic route. Again, 567, and then we'll drop down to 22, 1A, and then over to Trans Canada again. About an hour and 30 minutes. So you're going to see rolling hills and prairie lands. There's lots of agriculture um, surrounding the Airdrie area, and you'll see to the west, as you can see over here, the mountain views. All right, let's talk infrastructure and roadways here in Airdrie. So the major highway that runs through Airdrie is the QE2. That goes from north to south, getting to Calgary to Edmonton. The other one, provincial highway is 567. It's also called Veterans Boulevard when you get into town. We've also got the Yankee Valley Boulevard uh, that runs into town. The other major roadways is East Lake Boulevard which is this one right here, and then 8th Street right here. And then we've got 20th Street right here. So those are kind of the major, it's a it's a grid system when it comes to the roadways, really. In so they have done, they've completed 40th Ave overpass. That's really key. That has helped immensely with traffic coming from Calgary. Uh, so really rush hour, the traffic flows pretty well within Airdrie. You can get from one end to the other within 10, 15 minutes max, no matter time of day whether it's rush hour or not, it's pretty easy to get from one end to the other. Um, I think it's good to note is another back way. There's lots of back ways to get into Airdrie. So you can go off this Balzac, um, about where Cross Island Mills is over here, and then Balzac is right here. So you can take that overpass, and you can take 566 and take it up Range Road 11. That's going to take you the back way if you're in South Windsong, Hillcrest, um, that'll come in there. Another back way to come in is, so you can take that one and you can go follow 567 to the next range road and take, follow that up and basically take it straight over to 567 if you're going on the West End. Those are kind of just good to know detour routes within Airdrie. Um, there's also detour routes along this side. Now they've shut down. You're technically not allowed to be traveling through 
the back road here into Airdrie, but there is um, outer roadway systems you can take to get into Airdrie going from Cross Iron Mills. I just don't recommend it. It's only good if really if there's an accident on the QE2. The, your fastest way is straight off the QE2 into Airdrie in reality. It is also good to note that they are going to start this overpass here at Balzac in about 2025. So that's going to that's gonna restrict the traffic flow going into Airdrie. Once they start construction, it'll just slow it down a little bit. But it shouldn't be too bad. Once that's open, it's actually going to even be a quicker commute going from Airdrie to Calgary. Okay. Let's get into the communities within um, Airdrie. We're just going to briefly go over some of them just to give you an idea of what to expect. In Airdrie, you are going to be able to find acreage estates. So if we're going to go in, we're here going to go into the northeast section. This is one of the estates called Cro Croxford Estates. This is just on the outskirts here, and they have the acreages. Another spot that you will find acreages is at the Buffalo Rub, Rub which is kind of the northwest side of it, of Airdrie. And then again, let's go back out and come over here. So then to the east, we have the Yankee Valley Estates. So there, Airdrie also has a golf course uh, within it, which is really great for those people who love to golf and have a quick, easy access right outside your door. So as you can see here, this here is the Woodside um, area, and this is all the golf course. You'll see that the downtown area is, is the original homes. And as you start going out further and further, um, the communities do become newer and newer. So within these, we will go in here and let's look at Bay Springs. Now this here is the canals and it has uh, uh, homes that are backing up on it. It's a really great water feature. With it. And then you will see here Bay Springs. And it, within Bay Springs, you see that there's still development going on now that this is an older picture because there has been more homes built within um, these areas here. But Bay Springs still has newer homes being built within the area but it also has already existing homes so if you're looking for something that you can um, kind of customize yourself a little bit more before it's finished or if you're just looking for something that's move-in ready but wanting a newer community or newer homes they are inside airdrie you can see to the east the east side of of airdrie was the bay springs and canals and that area over here you'll have uh, Kings Heights and Lanark and again let's get out it uh, there's a lot of development that has happened so you'll you will be able to find your homes and there's already schools that are put in place and and fields and parks that's already completed and then you'll also see that they are still doing some building in inside this area some of the new developments that is just in progress now one of them that we should talk about of course, is on the west side here of Airdrie, Wildflower. Now, Wildflower, what's unique about them is they're going to have their first ever um, outdoor pool community. So they are um, just starting to build out this area. And there's multiple different communities that are kind of being built out. There's even ones that are located in the southwest. Um, but different options, so either a, a new community or not in the process of building or if you like the older homes um, with the unique character and stuff, those are those are within Airdrie as well. All right, let's talk Airdrie businesses. So there are a ton of businesses in Airdrie. Uh, with a town of over 80,000 people, there's a lot of options. We have a lot of big box stores here. We've got your Walmart. We've got your Home Depot. We've got your Winners. It's all kind of over in this uh, west end of Airdrie here in the southwest end. Um, we have big box grocery stores. You've got your no frills. You've got your superstore over here on the northwest side. Um, so lots of well-known name brand. You've got tons of grocery stores. Airdrie also has some really good local mom and pop shops. So things to call out. Seven Saints Boutique is a really cute boutique retail store. You have to check that out. That's over the Cooper's, the new area over by Cooper's Crossing. Another one to call out would be Queen Latina Bake Shop. That's off of Main Street in the Summerhill District. Really, really good bake shop there. 
you've got your Sorso. That's a really good lounge. It's very popular here in Airdrie off of Yankee Valley Boulevard as well. And that's over by the Bayside area. Um, you've got tons of restaurants to choose from, whether it's name brand like the Montana's. Um, and Montana's, again, is over here in the, you'll see it in this little just shopping district is where Montana's is. You've got your Tim Hortons, like Tim Hortons, there's like four or five Tim Hortons here. You've got your Starbucks, but you also have some really good um, and pops like Woodside Golf Course. That's a really, they've got a 525 restaurant. That is a really good one. You'll want to check that out. That's over here on the northwest end again of Airdrie. Maverick's Donuts. Oh, I just seen that one. That one's yummy. Check out Maverick's, Maverick's Donuts. Um, that's a really popular. And I think that they actually opened a branch in Calgary as well. Airdrie Farmer's Market. That happens every year between June and October. So I think Thanksgiving weekend. And that's in the parking lot of Plainsman Arena, which is kind of in the heart, uh, near the heart downtown core of Airdrie. So it's on the north side, northwest side, um, and it's right in the placement area. And that runs every Wednesday. It runs, uh, I believe, 3.30 till 7, 7.30 p.m. Don't don't quote me, but it's in the evening every Wednesday is when that runs. So really, in Airdrie, we've got a ton of businesses. Just outside of Airdrie, I think it's good to note that Costco is just outside in Balzac, 10 minutes down the road. That's... That's a pretty popular one. I know there's a lot of people that want to know how close am I to the Costco. And it's got the gas station, liquor store, and all that fun stuff. Let's get into the parks, pathways, and some of the off-leash parks within Airdrie. There is an off-leash park for small dogs that is located right here in the northeast side of, of Airdrie. And then here, we'll get into this map. It shows you here that along the QE2, this is a QE2 here. So this is the north and this is south going into towards the city of Calgary. But we have multiple different kinds of dog off-leash dog parks here. This one here in Nose, Nose Creek Park, um, one around a waterway. Other thing to note, multiple pathways that connect. It's about 150 kilometers of, of paved pathways, which is really great to get out there and just explore the city. We're going to go out. There's also the Canadian Trail back into Airdrie, as you can see here, um, and then you can continue following it out. There's a whole bunch of different parks with playgrounds and all sorts of things in Airdrie as well. Let's get into Chinook Winds. In Chinook Winds, you're going to find that this has the Splash Park. It has different baseball diamonds, a beach volleyball. There's even a toboggan hill. Um, a whole bunch of activities. And then let's just get out of here again. Nose Creek Park. And as you can see, at Nose Creek Park has that big water feature. Here you'll have the Festival of Lights. Um, there'll be music festivals. There's fire pits. There's a whole bunch to do here at this park. If we go up here, we also have a rec center in, in Airdrie. Um, it's located here. Let's zoom out so you can see. It's right here. Uh, Genesis Place has uh, indoor rinks, turfs, fitness, indoor swimming pool, a whole bunch of programs. Um, great place to check out for sure. So Airdrie has a ton of things that you can do within the community. Uh, some of the popular ones we'll just note here are Iron Horse Park. That's like a little um, ride along train. It's really good for the younger generation. That's a fun one to do. Glitch Gaming is a really popular spot here in Airdrie to go to. And that's over in the southeast side of Airdrie. Um, another one is Rival Axe. That's over in the northwest here. Um, then Shamrock Lanes. We've got a for bowling. That's just off the QE2 here, just by the Genesis Place Rec Center is where that one is. We have got the Airdrie Curling. So that's big and popular over in the Town and Country Center in the northwest side. That's in the Jensen com community. Uh, and then we've got the Nose Creek Valley Museum. So that's like our little museum that tells us about the Airdrian area in the past and all that. That's a fun one for kids. And usually a lot of kids uh, do that one during school. So there's lots to do in Airdrie just to stay busy, whether it's spring, summer, fall or winter. Um, yeah, there's a lot to keep you busy here. Okay, let's get into Airdrie's health and schools. So within Airdrie, you do have the Airdrie Community Health Center. That's our 24-hour urgent care as you can see right here, 
It is located in the downtown core area of Airdrie. Now, if you were needing emergency services or a hospital, you would have the Peter Lougheed here um, inside Calgary. And it's about 26 minutes to get into there. It's just down the QE2 and then go around. Um, but another option also for many of us who do live in Airdrie, less uh, time waiting is actually the Didsbury Hospital. So you would just take the QE2 up and then you would jump here Let's, and then take this exit here going into Didsbury. Now this here is approximately 30 minute drive, but it usually has the less wait time. The other, I the Children's Hospital like located again in Calgary and that's approximately 36 minutes away from Airdrie. Now, um, Airdrie also has a full schooling choices. So you have your public schools, your Francophone, your French immersion, um, Catholic, Christian schools, and as well as private schools. The other thing that's great about Airdrie is it does have Bow Valley College located right, right inside of Airdrie, as you can see, again, near the downtown core of Airdrie. Now, if you're looking for university studies, um, you could, of course, go to Calgary. There's the University of Calgary. That's a pretty quick and easy route as well. And it would take you approximately 30 minutes to get there. Another one would be the uh, State College that again is located in Calgary. Again, quick, easy route and then about 30 minutes as well to get in there. Okay, let's look at the last 10 years at detached homes and see where the median price has gone. Wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't talk real estate in this video. So as you can see, in the last, from 2014 to 2021, Airdrie has hovered, you know, around just above that 400,000 mark for the median home prices. This is for detached homes. In 2022, it did a significant jump and it's been slowly increasing every, every year since. So currently we're sitting at 600, just under 620,000 here in Airdrie. We're just starting out in 2024, so let's talk 2023. So 2023, we were just under 600,000 at 582. Um, so you're seeing, like that's, I project that over 2024, we are gonna keep seeing this pace out and we'll probably stay above, we will definitely probably stay above the 600,000 mark for your median home prices. Um, and I, I don't believe we're gonna drop down. So if you're a buyer and you're waiting for the market to drop, I don't think it's going to be significant enough. If we look at these last 10 years, well, let's look. 2015, we're at 427. And yeah, we've seen some slow de decreases. 2019 being the lowest year at 399. That's only 27,000. So we are we might drop just below the 500, the 600,000 mark. So if you're waiting to buy and you're hoping that you're going to get these rock bottom $400,000 prices for a detached home, that ship has sailed. So that's now beyond. If you're seeing homes under 400,000 detached homes, those are great deals and you better jump on those opportunities because those are getting fewer and far between and will lessen and lessen as the years go by. What will happen is your buying power, you're gonna be looking at a, if you're looking at 400,000, you're now looking from a detached home possibly to now a townhouse, possibly even a condo with condo fees. Even the townhomes with no condo fees are selling around that. 420, 425, and we're seeing them creep up in price every year here in Airdrie. Um, so yeah, if you have any real estate questions, feel free to call, text, or email me. We're always happy to chat and tell you what the market's like in that moment. There you have it, a brief overview of Airdrie, Alberta. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to call, text, or email me. We're always happy to chat.